the destructive appetite for a quick drug-induced thrill, and it's putting you in danger. The places you go to get a quick snack or stop to go to the restroom are becoming hot spots for needle-toting heroin users. Call 6 investigator Rafael Sanchez joins us live tonight with a full story. Rafael? Erica, good evening. First responders on the front line. More than 900 heroin users put on these stretchers did not go to the morgue. In fact, they survived. And in many cases, those users fed their appetite in public places. Fire and ambulance, what's that address, emergency? In the shadow of the sun and moon. Fire and ambulance. Ready It's happening at all hours of the day. More often where you and your family shop, eat, and park. I got a gentleman walking around my parking lot here that uh, I suspect is probably overdosing on heroin. He's got tracks on his arm and he had his belt wrapped around it. Public places are becoming unwanted havens for people who snort or shoot up heroin. So give me an idea of where are these public places that you would get high at. Like um, gas station bathrooms, restaurant bathrooms, um, in the car, like while somebody else is driving, like just really anywhere. Oh my God, he was I'm not sure if he What's your phone number? Heroin addicts in a rush to get their high. At times, can't wait to get home after buying their drug known on the street as boy or dog food. Jerry, come on, man. Don't do this to me, bro. Is he still breathing? What's wrong with you? Or where are you at? I'm in my truck with my buddy. I went in to use the bathroom and I came out and okay. he was hunched over my seat, not breathing. Public locations are preferred by drug users, carrying lots of cash, fear being robbed by their dealers. Is there a thrill about that? Is it just that you want the fix right now, so you do it right now? It's that I want the fix right now. Do it right now. Indianapolis EMS is responding to at least three overdoses a day. Lieutenant Brian Neifer is a supervisor on the night shift. Overdoses are unfortunately on the rise. So high that some users need a dose or two of Narcan to counteract an overdose and deny death a victory. That person that we were called for, give them the absolute best medical care that they can get and get them to the hospital for follow-up care and make sure that they go back to their families and their friends at the end of the day. Heroin addicts don't fit one stereotype when it comes to gender, race, or age. There's a gentleman in our bathroom. He's passed out, and there's a needle laying beside him, so I think he's OD'd in our bathroom. With public places becoming a heroin user's hangout. It's an overdose. I need an ambulance quick. Good Samaritans and their CPR skills are playing a critical role in the first few minutes of an overdose. What makes you think it's an overdose? What happened? Back live now to EMS headquarters. The city so far has spent some $15,000 just on the medication for the nasal spray as well as the injection. That does not include the hospitalization. We should point out that in 2015, the city is hoping to expand the use of Narcan, the nasal spray and the injection, to uh, firefighters as well as to more police officers. Now, this injection has some saline in it, water, but this is what the life-saving uh, medicine looks like. That is the mist that can save a life, and so far, 900 lives and counting have been saved. Live at 11, Rafael Sanchez, RTV6.